celebrates black history. Well, there is a new locally owned bookstore that's open for business with a focus on diverse authors. It's been almost a week since Crystal Dandridge opened the doors of the book bar. It's a place for books, wine, and a moment to relax and shock bottom. And in the process, she's making history. Jasmine Turner is learning more about her journey. Oh my gosh, I could talk about this all day long. There are stories all around us. I didn't have to make the picture in my mind because the picture was, was forming right on the page and I absolutely love this book. And you'll find countless pages of fiction. You're gonna always hear me say fantasy is my jam. True stories, children's books, and history inside the book bar on East Main Street. I am the only black owned bookstore in Richmond. Um, I am one of, what, four? in the state of Virginia. Opening these doors started as a dream for Crystal Dandridge. Last year, and it's funny, you know, on Facebook how the memories pop up. On February the 1st, a memory popped up of me writing that I have this dream that I really want to make a reality, but I was too scared and didn't know how to make it a reality, and here we are sitting inside of it. Dandridge wanted to see a bookstore focused on amplifying the work and writing of BIPOC, Black Indigenous people of color. I just felt like we needed a space that we didn't have to search for us. This is us. I see my face. No matter where I look, I see my face. And that's really, really what I wanted because that I think is important. Representation is huge. It's important. It matters. On February 5th, the book bar opened for the community. Dandridge wanted this self-funded dream to open during Black History Month and focus on self-care. You have a long day's work, leave it at the door. You know, things are going on in your life, leave it at the door. And just come in here, vibe out, sit down, relax, get a little tasting, um, sip a bit. You can eat a little snack and then go on about the rest of your day. Just, I just wanted that space of community. The weight of where her storefront stands in the city is not lost on Dandridge. Considering this was the area where people who look like me were tortured and sold, um, to now have a space on that very same, in that very same area where I own a store that tells the stories of those people who were sold. That I think is, I don't even know if I have a word for it. Like I have the emotions, I can feel the emotions. The book bar is nestled in Shaco Slip, not far from the area known as the Devil's Half Acre, a jail where enslaved people endured cruelty beyond belief. You know, when you look back at history, this would not have happened some years ago. But now it has, and Dandridge is also living out the dreams of those who came before her. To see the outpour of support and love across the board was amazing. What do you hope? the opening of this space will do for other people who have that very same dream. I hope that it shows them they can do it. Yeah, bookstores should be everywhere, period, but Black-owned bookstores that, that center BIPOC authors definitely should be everywhere. Open that variety up. And Dandridge is not only serving the community through the book bar, she is also Dr. Crystal Dandridge, a PhD in psychology. She's a licensed therapist here in Virginia. She's looking forward to continuing to work as a therapist while also running the book bar. On your side, Jasmine Turner, NBC 12. Thanks, Jasmine.